Hey guys, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and I've got a quick tip for you today about working in Word. And it's one of the fundamental things that I think are really, really important when we're working with documents and text. And it's to use our use our Pilcro. Now the Pilcro, or it's also known as the formatting marks button, is something that people often overlook and don't necessarily understand how valuable it can be in your document. So in this instance, I've got one of my uh, corporate train, this is my corporate training brochure, and it's been done in Word. And effectively, it's like a, a version of my professional profile or a, a bit of a marketing brochure. And you can see it's got a lot of text, it's got images, it's got things in columns, it's got graphs. So it's got quite a lot of content in it, uh, formatting, set up and it's ready. I've got it as a PDF version, but when I'm editing it and working with it, I need to make sure that the layout still looks visually correct and that I haven't got any weird gaps or things that throw the formatting out. And the way I do that is that every time I have a document open, I have my formatting marks or my pill crow on. Now to find the pill crow, we head up to the home tab in Word. I'm working in Word 365 on the desktop using a Mac. And under the home tab here, we've got all of our usual suspects. And at the very end, just before I get to styles on the Mac, I've got this little button here, which looks like a backwards P. When you hover over it, it should tell me, there we go, should uh, tell me that that's my formatting marks. Now, when I click it, the document looks different because it's going to show me all of the cursor spaces, all of the key keystrokes that have happened. So that's tabs, enter or hard return, depending on what language you use. It also shows me, um, yeah, it shows me tabs, commas, uh, tabs, spaces, and it returns. It also shows me all of my section and page breaks and how those have been set up so that I can make sure that I don't have anything weird happening in the background of the document. So in this instance, you can see we've got some spaces, that's the dots. Another Pilcro forms at the end of wherever I've hit the enter key or the return key. Up here, you can see I've got a section break that shows my, um, the content up here is acting differently to the rest of this here, where I've gone into columns. I've got a column break. I've also got lots of hard returns because I've popped this in as a, um, as a sh as shapes. I've got um, content sitting in my header and footer, so I can see that. And I've also then got down the bottom here, I've got a page break as well. So all of this is really important because, and it shows me the spacing on my bullet points. It also shows me, I don't think I've got any tabs in this one, so, but the tabs there, that's the, the preset spacing, and it shows me these ruler alignments. So if you don't already, then check out turning the pill crow on and off in your documents and see if you've got any weird page breaks or section breaks that might be throwing some of your alignment out. It's also a really great uh, way for you to spot when there's a weird tab or an extra return or enter that's been hit, or if you've got double spacing or some weird spacing in there as well. Um, remember that any of these marks are purely on the screen. They won't show up when you print it or convert it to PDF. It's just a, a formatting tool to help you work with your documents yourself. Check it out and let me know if you found any interesting things happening in the background of your documents.